Hi everyone, this is Matthew Ma with Allegra LED Lighting. There you go. In our last demo video, we show you uh, the short fit DBA LED tube. Let's uh, rephrase it. It's a double end safety switch, balance compatible, and AC line voltage frame. Alright, very well. Today we have an important announcement to make. There's a recall of 700,000 ballast compatible LED tube. Yes, that's right. A recall of 700,000 ballast compatible LED tube. Uh, except it's not our tube. It was made by someone else, sorry. Uh, I couldn't have it. Uh, <clears throat> if you uh, Google or search uh, LED tube recall on internet, you will find more information and uh, direction how you uh, get your replacement tube. Uh, but if you have used any balance compatible LED tube, by all means check it out. You may want to do it as soon as you can uh, to replace them. And in this video, uh, we want to demystify uh, the question related to LED tube burn hazard. The top 10 plus 1 uh, questions related to LED tube burn hazard. This should address most of the concerns people have on the issue uh, related to the recent uh, recall. Okay, I have my uh, check sheet here. Okay, number one. Question number one. Does the recall has anything to do with a particular LED dial? The answer is no. The recall has nothing to do with LED dial or chips. Alright, question number two. What caused the recent recall? Uh, with this particular LED tube, it has an internal spring that making contact with the PCB board. Uh, there's this on and off cause arcing, and the arcing that could potentially cause the meltdown uh, or the melt uh, of the PCB board. But that's uh, what was reported or was uh, made clear in the, uh, the full formal announcement. So you want to check that out. Uh, for your own education. Question number three. Does other balance compatible LED tube has the same arcing problem? Well, the answer is yes and no. No, because other balance compatible LED tube does not have the same internal design. So they don't have this internal arcing problem like this particular uh, balance compatible LED tube. But they still have what we call the external arcing problem. Uh, we'll show you in a second. Well, actually, this is the, the next question. What is external arcing? Let me show you. Uh, let's get a balance compatible tube let's from someone else. Let's try it. Oh, by the way, I have here a balance picture, as you can see it. Let me make sure it works. Let's do it again. Uh, it's, uh, See, there's a flossing tube, and I put it in. Make sure it works on this balance compatible uh, balance picture. Yes, it does. Perfect. Now I'm going to put this LED tube, this balance compatible LED tube, into this picture and demonstrating the external arcing. I'm going to try this. There we go. All right, once I'm in, the other one is in. Perfect. Okay. Now, external arcing happen. When you have a loose connection between the bind pin and the socket, say in one of the old fixtures that you have, has a loose socket. Let's try it to induce this external arcing. That close up. Can you hear that? Okay. I hope you hear it. Uh, I'll do it again. Oh, actually, there's some smoke coming out. Uh, let's, okay. All right, let's do it again. One, two, three. See that? Okay, very well. That's enough. Yeah. Anytime you have a loose connection uh, in a balance uh, picture, you will run into a situation like this. That's called external arcing. Uh, could potentially cause damage to the uh, tombstone and biohazard. Uh, so be aware of that. Question number five. Does all balance compatible LED tube has external arcing problem? 
he has you back. Uh, just to be fair, it is not so much uh, the design of the baddest compatible IDQ, it is the fact that there's a baddest in the system. That's uh, what causes the potential arcing. Okay, question number six. Does it mean that fluorescent tube also have the same external arcing problem? Yes, it does. Fluorescent tube, when it's used inside a ballast fixture with a loose uh, socket, it, is, it will have uh, the same potential uh, arcing problem as well. Okay, question number seven. What is the difference between the fluorescent tube and the ballast compatible LG tube when it comes to external arcing? Well, this is really a dumb question. They both have the external arcing problem, as I stated earlier. Question number eight. What is the root cause of the external arcing or any arcing in the pictures? Well, the root cause is really this thing. The ballast. Because the ballast raised voltage, the starting voltage, to 600 volt. Anytime you have a 600 volt difference, right before the metal contact, or make contact, there's a flash jumping from the pin to the socket that's arcing or any internal contact like the spring and the PCB board. So that's the root cause. Okay? Then next question, question number nine. How do I get rid of arcing? The answer is, read my lips. Get rid of the balance. Is the root is the root cause? Is the evil of all arcing in the lighting system? That is, so get rid of it as soon as we can. Question number ten. Are there other benefits of not using a balance in the system? Of course, it does. The two main benefits without having a ballast in the system. Number one, more energy saving. And number two, there's no more maintenance and replacement of ballast. On the energy saving side, let's show you a demonstration. Right here, you can see it. Over here, the picture without any ballast. Sorry, without any LG2 ballast, is consuming over four watts. Let me put a an LD tube, this is our DBA tube that works with and without ballast. Let's put it in here first, with ballast. Can you see the reading? Alright, I couldn't see it. Let me take a look. 21 point, 21 inch. Say 21. Okay, uh, the same tube. Uh, I want to see the same tube. Okay, so 21 here. Take that out. Same tube. And fixture without ballast. Then, okay, what's the reading? 17.3. There we go. It's almost 4 watts difference per lamp. Per lamp. So, by getting rid of ballast, you save more. Oh, someone want to see the, the, the arcing with the ballast on the Bass picture with the fluorescent tube. Let's do it again. I didn't show it earlier. Skip that part, but uh, since people want to see the smoke coming out, then uh, let's do it again. Uh, okay, this is uh, fluorescent tube on ballast, and uh, let's try it. Try it. Okay, let's. Oops, out. See that? Okay, I mean, uh, that's enough. Otherwise, uh, if I continue fire marshal, I will break into our room and I will have good insurance to cover it. Okay, now you see it? Great. What's uh, your recommendation? Our recommendation? Use the DBA tube on line voltage. That is, without ballast. Without ballast, save more energy, zero maintenance costs on ballast because there's no more ballast, and free of arcing. Like that? Good. Me too. Now, what if have used uh, ballast compatible LED tube in the past, say under influence? I don't know who's influence. Uh, my recommendation is renew your business insurance policy as soon as possible. Okay? 
And if you have not used any best compatible attitude, good for you. And ask yourself the question, would you like to buy into potential burn hazard liability? If no, stay away with balance compatible too. That depends on balance, which means you, know, you have to have potential liability in your lighting system all the time. Stay away from it, and if you have any questions, send us an email, and if you like what you hear, share this video with your friends, and you can ask for mini TA flashlight. Thank you very much, till next time, we'll see you, bye.